to TV5 News at 9. Joining us this morning is Dr. Bobby Lesnowski. Thank you so much for calling in with us today, Dr. Lesnowski. Thanks for having me. You are welcome. So, Doctor, tell us why first someone would need an oral surgeon versus a traditional doctor. Yeah, so as oral and maxillofacial surgeons, we do not practice any type of dentistry per se. We limit our practice to the surgical items in the head and neck and specifically the mouth. So we do a lot of extractions, take out third molars, grade head and neck infections, treat facial trauma and treat different pathologies on the face, head, neck. And one of the biggest benefits of coming to see us is a lot of the services that we provide are done under IV anesthesia, which means the patients go to sleep so they don't have to feel or experience any discomfort or pain. Okay, now are you still seeing patients during this pandemic? Yes, we have continued to treat patients and take care of people in need. We feel that it's been our responsibility to help. As oral surgeons, we bridge the gap between the medical and dental community. And since most dental offices are closed after Dr. Whit or Gretchen Whitmer's order, Governor Whitmer's order, um, we've tried to stay open to take care of those in need. What we don't want is people to delay treatment and end up with a worse infection or possibly resulting in death because of what's taking place in their mouth, head, or neck. So let us know, what types of things are you doing to keep your patients and your office safe? So prior to any patient coming to the office, we are calling and we're doing a pre-screening phone call. Once the patients come to the office, we are practicing social distancing within the office. So every patient is at least 10 feet away from the other, and we are limiting our waiting room to allow for social distancing. We removed all magazines, pens, papers, pencils, or anything that can be contaminated in the office. On top of that, we are asking all patients to fill out all paperwork online prior to their appointment so there is no exchange of papers. We had hand sanitizer stations set up in the office. All the office staff has masks on. And when patients arrive, we are also doing temperature checks and we are having them fill out additional health questionnaires to make sure that they have not been exposed and again, that they are following Governor Whitmer's orders. Anything else you'd like to tell us or what we should know about dental problems during this pandemic that we're going through? The biggest thing we want to get across is you should not delay treatment if you're having pain, discomfort, if you feel like you have an infection or if you've had some type of trauma. Because the longer you wait, the worse things can get. And I understand that everyone is nervous about what's taking place, but sometimes waiting too long can lead to a much bigger problem. So we're here to try to avoid those problems for people. As most dentists around the state of Michigan are closed, we want to make sure that people know that all three of our offices are open and we are treating patients. Again, we are limiting those treatments to emergencies, but again, we're helping all of those that need help. Well, thank you again, doctor, for calling in. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for having me. I appreciate you. You are welcome. Now, if you want any more information about today's topic, just head on over to the hot link section of WNEM.com.